Hey everybody, day 27, how's the heads? Besides a few star ones out there this morning. <laughs> All right, but today I wanted to recommend a book. Um, and I wanted to talk about one piece from the book. Um, it's called Choice Theory. And uh, a man called William Glasser wrote that. Now, I was very lucky because I read that book years and years ago. And it was, it's so good, really. Like the information that's in it is so good. And even when you're reading the book, there's little bits of homework to do throughout it. Uh, it was just so good. Um, but I was very lucky because after that I joined, I was in a women's group and the people who were running the women's group um, did like loads of other stuff that was based on his teaching and we got to get a real deeper understanding of it. Um, I mean, I probably could do about 10 videos on that. I'm, I'm not saying I'm going to, but I might. But I really wanted to share this little bit with us today, first of all, because um, it just was brilliant for me. I'm going to show you this now, right? Um, part of... William Glasser's teachings is that he believes that each person has five basic needs. Now, don't laugh at how old and dodgy this looks. Because I've had this for years and years and years. Little tea stains and everything on it, look. But these are William Glasser's five basic needs. And I'll read you through them. There's love and belonging. So that's like being with family members, being with friends, being in support groups. Um just with like any relationships and having somewhere where you feel like you belong. Your power need, that's your using your skills, your achievements, um, all your accomplishments. That's how you get that one fulfilled. Your fun, so that's going out, having uh, fun with the kids, fun with your friends, from a family um, and having fun while growing. So going to school, learning new things, that can be fun as well. Uh, survival, so this is your food, water, heat in your house, roof over your head, um, your sexual needs, your, what else is on there? Oh, your health. <laughs> Good one to forget, Jen, when you're doing self-care videos. <laughs> yeah, so your food, your water, all that, and your health, your sex, everything, that's your survival need. And your freedom. Oh, such a good one. This is your choices and your independence and your freedom from certain things and your freedom to do certain things. Um, so for example, like if you're walking, you're stuck in work nine to five every week to be able to get the money up and have a week off and go on holiday or something like that, that'd be your freedom. But the reason I'm gonna post this picture on the page. The reason I wanted to share that with you today is because when I learned about them years ago, basically what I realized, or what I was told, I was taught at the time, was that every time I was feeling a bit off or I was feeling a bit, you know, bored or just not happy. And sometimes you get a day where you're just a little bit off and you actually can't put your finger on it. Um, or you're feeling down and you can't quite put your finger on um, what it is that's making you feel like this. So I, we were given this um, in the women's group. So I came home and I pinned that and I stuck it to me well. And every time I had a feeling like that, that I was a little bit down, I was a little bit off and I wasn't sure why, I went to the picture and I read through all the basic needs and tried to figure out which one of those needs wasn't being met. So I could go over one day, I could think, Jesus, I just, I don't know, I'm a bit off today, I don't know what's going on. And I'd go over and I'd, okay, have me, my house is warm, have, I'm fed, I'm looked after in that way, it's not survival. I've had the freedom to do this, that or the other, that, that's all right. My love and belonging is good. I've seen all my family. I've had a catch up with my ma, or I've, you know, spent the day with the kids. That one's good. Um, or I could say, right, I was in college today. That's my power. I'm getting to, you know, achieve something. And I'd realise, ah, it's fun. My fun need is not getting met. Haven't had a night out with the girls in ages. Um, which can happen for any of us who were using substances to make us feel better, and we're trying not to do that anymore. Um, we tend to just stay off the socialising scene then for a while. So you can end up not being able to, you could be missing the fun aspect, not actually the substance. So what I reala realised then was that I could go and have tea and coffee with my friends that I would usually go out with. I could go over and have an hour in their house and have a catch up with them. And that would fulfil that because you're just having a bit of laugh and a bit of banter. And um, yeah, so sometimes it was just the fun need. Other times... In my life, I'd come over and it, it would be the love and belonging one. I'd be after, maybe I hadn't seen my family members. I'd be after seeing me fella and the kids at home, all right, but I might not have seen me sisters or me ma for a while. 
Um, and I realised, oh, you know what, that's what it is. I haven't had a chat with them in ages or I haven't had a cuddle off them in a while. And it was that one that needed to be fulfilled. So I just wanted to share that with you today. Um, I'm going to post the picture on the page if any of you do want to copy it and print it off for yourselves. But I just thought it was a great, um, a great piece of advice for a day when you're just not quite sure what's missing. You're feeling off, you're feeling down, you're feeling a little bit crappy. And you're just not sure what it is. To be able to come over and look through the five basic needs and try and figure out which one of them wasn't being fulfilled. Yeah, that helped me loads of times. So I just thought I'd pass that one along as well. <laughs> all right, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.